We're making shrimp tacos today. We're gonna marinate the shrimp, cook it off, and then we're gonna make a sauce out of roasted jalapenos, some roasted garlic. This is the sauce that you've seen on my Instagram, by the way. We're gonna assemble tacos with cabbage, some cilantro, and that's a good meal right there. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mina, culinary school grad, former professional cook, and we're doing some real cooking today. We're just gonna make some real food. This is a dish that you could put into your weeknight dinner rotations. You could make this for anybody. You could make this at a dinner party or a potluck if we ever have those again. But this is real food, just real, regular, old food. Let's make some shrimp tacos. So the first thing we need to do is turn your oven on broil high and make sure that you have the rack all the way up top. Then we're gonna get a piece of foil. We're gonna put five cloves of garlic in here. You can do more, you can do less. This really depends on you. A tiny bit of oil, about a milliliter. That's it. It's a couple drops. And a good pinch of salt. Wrap it all up. And then just get a little like container or a bowl or something. And put the garlic in here, put a jalapeno in here, and put it under the broiler to char. We really want this jalapeno to char. The shrimp I'm using here is cleaned, de-veined, but it still has the tail and the shells on. So I'm just gonna take the shells off, and I actually save the shells to make some shrimp stock with later on. So obviously your shrimp is gonna change, but my shrimp, the jumbo bag, it's 12 shrimp is eight ounces, and we need eight ounces, so, 12 shrimp it is. So to marinate the shrimp, we need a little bit of oil, some chili powder, chili flake, cumin, garlic powder, a little bit of cinnamon, and of course salt and black pepper, freshly cracked, please. Also make sure that you rotate the pepper so you can see we got it nice and charred on the one side. Oh, it smells so good. We just need to char it on this side and the garlic will be done by that time. I give it a flip as well. Back in the oven. I'm gonna do three milliliters of oil, which is about half a teaspoon. Let me just get my notebook here for the spices. One teaspoon chili powder, uh, garlic powder. We got half a teaspoon of that. And I'm just estimating here. Um, I have it written down exactly, but I'm just estimating the amounts here. And not that big of a deal if you're off a little bit, a lot of it. Chili flakes, half a teaspoon of cumin. Eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just gonna let it sit until we get everything else ready, and then we'll be good to go. And I smell the jalapeno, so I'm just gonna check it real quick. All right, All right so the jalapeno is nice and charred. And the garlic, I could smell the garlic. It looks so soft, it's oozing out already. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get a new container that's not hot. It goes in. And then just get a piece of plastic wrap and cover this. And it's gonna steam it and it's gonna be a lot easier for us to peel. And just let that sit while we do the garnish. All right, so besides the sauce, we're also gonna do some cabbage and some cilantro. So I'm gonna wash the cilantro and then just chop up the cabbage, get all the garnish ready. So the majority of the cilantro here is really for the sauce. We're just gonna use a little bit inside the tacos. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the leaves for the tacos, but the majority of this, again, is for the sauce. All right, so by now it should be pretty easy to peel the pepper. Ooh. Smells so good. It should come off pretty easily. If it doesn't, you can always use a spoon. And some people like to use water. They like to soak this in water, but you lose a lot of the flavor that way. And then you have this water with just a ton of flavor that you can't do anything with. So that's why I'm not using water if you're wondering. This is a good time to take out all the seeds and the ribs if you want. You could just split it right in half like this 
and then just scoop them all out. But I want to keep them. I like my food spicy, especially here. This is a great time to have a little bit of spice. So I'm just going to keep it, but scoop it out if you want to make it more mild. All right, so let's make the cilantro sauce. We're basically just going to combine all these ingredients in a food processor and that's it. We're going to start with yogurt. Oh my God, there's a piece of paper on top here. What a mess. I really don't like yogurt. Like that smell right now, oof. You really gotta do something with yogurt for it to be edible. Otherwise it's, it's not good. I'm gonna zest half a lime. Not the whole thing, just half. Make sure don't get the white stuff, the pith. That stuff is bitter, it's not good. Make sure you don't see any white here when you zest. And then we'll do half a lime juice. That whole jalapeno from before. That beautiful roasted garlic. Should be able to just squeeze them right out. And then your fingers are gonna smell like garlic. I'm not saying that as a bad thing, by the way. If you think it's a bad thing, I don't, I don't know what to say. Nice handful of cilantro. And the stems here too is fine. Salt, black, pepper, freshly cracked. Please. Of course, you know, make sure to scrape the sides just like anything that you mix in any kind of mixer. Always scrape the sides of everything. Before you take it out of here, make sure that you taste it because it could need salt, it could need acid. We're gonna use the rest of the lime for garnish, so just cut it up into wedges. To cook the shrimp, I use three milliliters of oil and a hot cast iron griddle. They're gonna cook for a total of two and a half minutes. I'm also gonna be using these little corn tortillas. I really like these. You can use the flour one if you want, but I just prefer these. My shrimp on my griddle took a minute and a half on the first side, and then on the second side, it took a minute. So a total of two and a half minutes. Now, keep in mind that this is just a guideline. Your shrimp is gonna be different. Your heat is gonna be different. It's also gonna depend on if your shrimp is cold. If it's not cold, there's a lot of variables. So take this as a guideline, but you wanna cook it until the gray in it just about goes away. You don't want it to overcook. Remember, it's gonna keep cooking after you take it off. And this is my favorite way actually of heating up the tortillas. If you do this, please be careful. And we're ready for assembly. Got the tortillas, shrimp. I cut the shrimp in half just so they're in smaller little pieces and it's like a bite-sized piece. So I just cut each one in half. And we have the cilantro, the cabbage, and just some lime. Finally took all the pictures, all the thumbnails. Okay, I also have some pickled carrots. These are the ones that I made from the last video. I'm gonna put the video up there if you wanna go check it out. Go make some pickles, they're really good. All right, so I'm gonna try them without the hot sauce, without any lime or anything. Just, just a taco. The seasoning on the shrimp really comes through. You gotta make sure not to overcook the shrimp so it has that bite in it and it's not so rubbery, you know? And I love the crunch from the cabbage. I think I need some more of the cabbage though. And the sauce just kind of cools everything off and it gives you a roasted garlic and a spicy finish from the jalapeno. Very nice. Some lime on this one. I don't think it needs the lime, but there's some people who just like limey food. Is that a word? Limey food? Acidic food? So the calories and the macros will be on the screen. Each taco should have 180 calories and about 19 grams of protein. But we didn't even use all the yogurt. There's a lot of the sauce left. You can use this on a lot of things. Use it on any kind of a grilled meat, grilled chicken, any fish, even any vegetables. You could roast some vegetables and just dip them in here. 
yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy that last one in private. That's between me and the taco. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram. If you make any of my recipes, I'll be sure to repost everybody who tags me. I love seeing what you guys make. And even if you change the recipe around, I love seeing that. I love seeing what you come up with. That's what cooking is all about. Go out there, make this recipe, change it around a little bit, tweak it a little bit to your liking. Let me know what you came up with. Tag me, leave a comment also, you know, cause I read your comments and let me know what you want to see. I do have some plans already. There's a lot of videos planned, a lot. So I do have a pretty big list. I am working every single day on videos, every single day. I'm either working on a recipe, either working on a video. I am shooting, I am editing. There's always something I am working on in the channel. And thanks for watching if you're still here and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.